In a flashback on Coruscant, Ochi and Vader make their way through the halls after being cybernetically repaired, as a couple of Imperials fawn over Vader's achievements, but not Sly Moore, who was tasked with orchestrating Vader's destruction, but she failed, as the Emperor knew she would. The inner circle of Palpatine was cutthroat, and she had just been demoted to sub-administrator, and her new title brought boring bureaucracy, until the mention of the Crimson Dawn. They would be selling a smuggler with ties to a rebel named Skywalker. This gave Sly an idea. She would sneak into the Imperial repair block to try and find any weakness Vader may have. The Grand Vizar was already two steps ahead. They they both wanted the same thing, the success of the Emperor's plans, and Vader would need to be up to snuff. Sly mind tricks Mas Amida into forgetting her presence in the medical bay, passing off the Dark Lord's armor specs and eventually came across the desk of IG-88, who would use Vader's armor code in a battle, which would ultimately fail. Meeting with her co-conspirators, they were all nervous with the prospect of being seen together. If their plan was to work, they would need to face Vader together, and he came with fury. Before the dark and scorned and forgotten could escape into a temple, Vader slams the door closed, but Sly still had Vader's armor code. 